Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to remove glasses from face in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using brush tool to create a selection using content aware fill and using clone stamp tool for removing shadows left by the glasses. So let's get started. So here in our document, we got this woman wearing a glasses. And our goal here is to remove that. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background. So select Control plus J. And then after that, we're going to create another layer. So just go here and create a new layer. There you go. Clicking on this layer, we're going to zoom this one in. Okay. Now we're going to create a selection on the glasses. Okay, so to do that, we're going to the brush tool. Okay, so we're going to adjust the brush size fit to paint over the glasses. Okay, and for the opacity, let's set this one into 100%. Okay, and for the mode, let's put it to normal. Okay, so let's paint this up. So I'm just going to paint on the side of the glasses. So this is another method for creating a selection on a particular subject. Okay, so now once we're done, the next thing we're going to do here is to right click on the thumbnail of that layer. Yes, we're going to right click on that. And then we're going to select pixels. Now you can see there is already a selection there. And now I'm going to hide this layer. Now look at that. We already created a selection around the glasses. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to click the duplicate layer that we just created a while ago. Just here, just click here. And then let's go to edit. And then let's go to fill. All right, so once I click that, this dialog box will appear. And for the contents, make sure that it's in the content aware. And for the mode, it's just normal and the opacity for 100. And then once all said and done, select OK. And it will automatically remove the glasses. And there you go. Amazing, right? And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm to show my video to other nerds like us. Going back. All right. So now we already removed the glasses of this woman, but you will notice that there are shadows that remains. And of course, we're going to remove that with the use of the clone stamp tool. Okay, but first you can see there's still a selection. Now we're going to deselect that. So to do that, you, have, you just have to press Control plus D. And there you go. The selection is gone. Okay, now we're going to click on the clone stamp tool here on the toolbar. Just ask for the shortcut key, and then I'm gonna adjust the brush size. Okay, and for the opacity, yeah, just put it into 40% or 50%, and that's it. And for the hardness, just set it into zero. Okay, and I'm gonna use here a soft round brush. All right, so let's go and let's get some samples from her face, but first let's zoom that in. There you go. Alright, so you can see that there are dark areas here. Actually, those are the shadows from the glasses. And there's another one here. You can see that something is wrong here. The eyebrows was also erased. So we're going to restore that back using clone stamp tool. Okay, so here we go. Now going back, clicking on that clone stamp tool. Uh, let's get a sample from a clean area here. Okay. And then paint on the darker areas. All right, get a sample, and then paint. Get a sample, and then paint. Get a sample, and then paint. Okay, so there are dark shadows here on the nose. Lessen my brush size and get a bright areas here on the nose, and then. And now I'm going to fast forward on this, doing the same method until those dark areas 
will be gone. And for the restoration of the eyebrows over here, I'm gonna resize this brush and then get a copy and apply on the missing eyebrow. You can also adjust the opacity so we can get a let's go for the hardness. So just let's increase the amount. All right, there we go. I think that's better for me. All right, in my case, this one looks okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom this one out. So I'm gonna show you the before and after. So this one is, so this one was the before, and this one is the after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. Okay, but yeah, there are some things to fix on it because, and you can see the eyebrows here are very thick. Look at this. This is the after. It's very thick, right? So we're going to lessen that with the use of the clone stamp tool. So I'll still applying the same method. All right. All right. So I think this one is much better. Okay. So before and the after the before and the after and that is how to remove glasses from face in photoshop see you in the next videos